In today's video, we're going to discuss some of the reasons why a Pomeranian might not be the right breed for you. We're going to look into their exercise needs, any medical issues linked to this breed, and plenty of other things that you should seriously consider before potentially adding this breed to your family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Pomeranian show. So let's dive into some of the reasons why you possibly shouldn't get a Pomeranian. There are plenty of pros and cons into adding a Pomeranian into your family. It's so important to make sure you do your research before purchasing or rehoming any breed. There are so many dogs like the Pomeranian being purchased without this knowledge. Then owners soon realise they don't have the time to exercise or train them, or they don't realise how fragile they are or the health conditions associated with the breed before they get one. There are too many dogs and shelters, so please only commit to this beautiful breed if you're certain you have what it takes to look after them for the rest of their life. Pomeranians can be very fragile due to their small size. However, this doesn't stop them from thinking they're a large protector. They certainly take the job role of watchdog very seriously. They can find anyone they meet outside of the family a suspect character and may be very wary around people when out and about. This trait comes from their ancestors, the Spitz, who were bred to alarm their owners to intruders. Pomeranians can be a very barky breed if they're not trained out of this bad habit at a young age. They can also be very stubborn. This could be very easily be down to their humans letting them get away with their bad behaviour because of their cute appearance or not being able to say no to them. This breed can also be quite an independent breed. They do love being lap dogs, but equally they enjoy spending their time on their own. Pomeranians along with other smaller breeds are notoriously hard to toilet train. They can easily fit into small hidden spaces to go to the toilet like behind the sofa or under the coffee table. These sneaky toilets can go unnoticed by owners and the smell of where they've previously gone to the toilet will make them go to the toilet inside more. To get them toilet training, you will need to be prepared to put them outside to go to the toilet every half an hour after they've woken up from a nap and when they've had something to eat and drink. This will need to be consistent and can sometimes go on for months, so be prepared. Pomeranians can be known to have a prey drive thanks to their ancestors, so if you have any small animals or cats they'll probably constantly try to chase them. It is essential to keep these little dogs stimulated both mentally and physically. I advise that you exercise your Pomeranian for around 30 minutes a day. To keep them mentally stimulated it's a good idea to invest in plenty of toys for them to play with like Kongs, treat dispensing balls, hide and slide puzzles and snuffle mats. These toys will need to be switched every few days to stop them from getting bored. Some health issues that Pomeranians are prone to include patella luxation. This is when the kneecap dislocates. This usually starts to happen at around four months of age. Patella luxation is usually fixed by surgery. Tracheal collapse is a condition that occurs when the Pomeranian's windpipe tracheal rings weaken. This closes the airways and can cause symptoms like your dog making a honking type noise, fainting and an intolerance to exercise. They can also get a cough that particularly gets worse in hot weather. This condition can get worse in a Pomeranian's ageing. Another health condition to be aware of is black skin disease. This is a mixture of hyperpigmentation, which is a darkening colour change to your Pomeranian skin colour, and alopecia, which is hair loss. This condition tends to affect males more than bitches and is inherited from parents. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behaviour. As a canine behaviourist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behaviour that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviours at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviour. Behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. 
Another common condition that affects male Pomeranians is cryptorchidism. This is when one or both testicles do not drop as they should and require surgery to correct. It's very important that you fully research Pomeranians before getting one as some colours that are bred can actually affect their health. For example, the colour male can come hand in hand with some health issues like blindness, deafness, amotrophia, microphthalmia, intracular pressure and coloboma. Male Pomeranians have been bred from both parents also being males and can have extra issues such as problems with their hearts, skeletons and reproductive systems. Therefore, it's best to stay clear from these colours and ensure you find a responsible, recognised breeder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss any future updates. We have two regular Pomeranian videos dropping here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Pomeranian Show.